Samantha here and welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 Parenthood and we are back with the Tharp family and all of the kids are up. It is super early in the morning but apparently they all got up at pretty early times because they had went to bed fairly early I guess. I don't know. I don't know what happened but <laughs> Braylon Jr. kind of woke up extra early. He had it in his mind that he was going to sneak and go play with some toys but then his sisters ended up waking up so then he snuck over here and started reading a book and I think this sister Tara is like keeping tabs on him which is so funny because my daughter Alyssa is the same way. <laughs> she like keeps tabs on her brother to make sure that they're not getting in trouble because she <laughs> says it's because she doesn't want them to get in trouble mom. but I don't know. I, I call her second mom Mama and it's like a joke, but it's like I'm dead serious because she is second mama sometimes. So Tara's over there playing second mama, keeping tabs on um on the on Braylon Jr., just making sure he doesn't get in trouble anymore. Cause y'all, he's punished twice right now. He's grounded from TV and he's also grounded from no toys and no games. TV is up in three hours and um toys and games is up in three hours as well. And for some reason, I just I don't know. I just finished recording um City Living because I'm pre-recording. We'll be out of town today when you guys see this episode and i only got this error log message one time pop on over here and it keeps popping up i have no clue what's going on i, I feel like i can't play my game without mc command mod so it's almost like i don't have a choice but to just like deal with it but in the meanwhile i i just i don't get it i don't get it but anyway uh what is braylon doing he's in here reading a book i think he's on the okay he's still walking around with his book um he's trying to do the right thing but you guys look at his face he's not happy about being punished i mean Look at this. He's not happy at all about being punished. And his face right now, <laughs> it says everything. Like, look at this. He's like, look at this. You know, dad in here talking about he going to cook dinner. And I'm, I'm going to eat that mess. You know, like, he just, like, he's just talking underneath his breath right now. And, you know, that's how kids are. They don't, they don't care. They don't have, they, they don't have not a one care in the world. So, um, Braylon, I was just looking at it. He is so close to getting a promotion. I know I said I wanted him to own his own bar and we're kind of playing with time right now. So he has a couple, 13 days before he ages up. So we're, we're kind of playing around with time at this point and I feel like we're not going to be able to, I don't know. I'm so torn about it because I really wanted him to own his own bar, but I don't know if it's going to be possible for us to do it. So I'm going to have him call everybody to a meal and um, grab himself a serving. Then he's going to come over here and start practicing, um, I guess he could just make some drinks. Let's make a drink and then we'll just make like, I don't know. We'll just make something kind of cheapy because he is going to go to work today and I kind of want him to get a promotion. If he gets the promotion today, I think I'll just go on and be set with, he'll just continue on as, um, you know, just a fly by night bartender, just kind of like going to different venues and different spots and kind of moonlighting. And if not, um, and then that way he can retire and earn money from his income and it won't be an issue because y'all, they have a huge family and he's getting older and we have a lot of kids we have a lot of kids so Ashley is still sleeping uh the babies are up and it looks like second mama's in here coming to check on them real quick while she's eating their faces I don't know she's like won't you be happy when you age up and you can eat bacon eggs and 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 toast like me like look at this it's sparkling daddy made sparkling breakfast and you guys can't have it I feel like that's what she's in here doing right now but Anyway, Ashley is uh, still sleeping. I think she's, I'm going to get her up so she can grab something to eat while the kids are are quiet and thank her husband for, um, let me go over here and compliment him. Ooh, attempt to seduce. Uh, no, let's, let's not do that in front of the kids. We, we've had enough of that. Okay. All right. We've had enough of the seductions in the Tharp household. They have a ton of kids. Like enough is enough. Um, anyway, I was going to try to admire you a little bit there, Braylon. <laughs> But anyway, he's going to go out here because y'all, he his mind is focused on these kids and I'm just spinning this camera around like a crazy person. But in the meanwhile, I need to see if the kids can do anything. It's Sunday, so they're just kind of like chilling out and hanging out today. Um, does she have a school? Okay, she doesn't have any school projects or anything like that. So I'm going to have her go write in her journal a little bit. Um, I want to start paying attention more to their, um, their needs and stuff. So her emotional control is... Um, I mean, everything is really green and set for emotional control. So I feel like we need to work on the emotional control for her. So, um, we can do that by winding down interactions on radios or jogging or stuff like that. So I'm going to have her go write in her journal a little bit. And then I'm going to actually have her go, um, a, a date. What, wait, what? <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. These things right here. I swear, please don't crash on me. I just, I don't have it in me today to, to be dealing with the crashing. I don't. 
Look at them. They're just coming left and right. Like, I feel like I want to take it out, but I don't want to take it out. Um, I don't know. I feel like my game is about to crash, which really sucks because I needed to pre-record. <laughs> and it sucks. I just want to play my game. So, yeah, as you guys know, my game ended up crashing. So I took MC Command Mod out until I could figure out exactly what is going on with it. But for some reason, Braylon's over here. It looked like he just said some explicative explicatives coming out of his um look 28 minutes ago was the last error message. Oh my gosh, it took me that long to figure out what was going on. So I ended up just taking it out of my game altogether. And uh yeah, anyway, long story short, it's almost Jada and Ryland's birthday. So yeah, right now it's gonna be out of my game for some time until I can figure out a way. I'm gonna discuss his stress mood really quickly and figure birthday. out what's going on with him because I don't like him like acting like how he's acting, like what is going on with him. Um, she wants to volunteer, so I'm wondering if maybe she should take him and they go volunteer today. I think that might be a good idea just to get him like some lessons. Like, dude, you have it privileged. You are privileged. You have a beautiful home. You have a mom and dad that love you. You get any toy you want. You got sisters that care about you and you're sitting over here, you know, just acting like a little spoiled brat, essentially, essentially. I mean, look at him. He's acting like a spoiled brat. And that's basically what she is saying. I'm going to get a picture of my family, though, because this is all of them. This is beautiful. So when the twins age up, what are we going to do for a table? Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll have t we'll have high chairs for a little bit. But then after that, what are we going to do? I don't know. But it looks like both of them were sitting there giving him like a lecture he's talking about like look dude you could go kick frogs if you feel like you're bored or whatever you know go 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 do something with some can i don't know i'm just like saying stuff y'all i need to cut this volume down okay cool so um yeah i guess he's nodding his head like okay yeah mom so i think what i'm gonna have her do i think that's a good idea i'm gonna describe the idea to him i think i'm gonna take me and braylon jr we're gonna go volunteer today can you hold down the fort is basically what's going on now everybody's just frozen Maybe it's this house, which is kind of um, disappointing if it ends up being the house because MC Command is no longer in my game. So what's the issue? And it's so crazy because they're saying that the person that made MC Command Center made it so that you can detect when you're having errors in your game, which is the reason why the error message pops up, but not to the point where it just hope just crashes your game. It's like, that's one thing that I just don't understand. Give us a notification, say, okay, we'll log the details and you can check it out later. But the pop-ups over and over and over and over again, unless it's like every single time the error occurs, is it like something that's in this house? Is it her custom content? Is it I don't know. Like, I hope it's not anything as simple as a skin or something like that. But I'm just going to reset her and uh, reset him and reset them. And then hopefully that'll do it. Okay. So I don't know. But um, so we're going to act like she just talked with Braylon about uh, taking Braylon Jr. out volunteering. So it's seven o'clock. Let's go ahead and do that now because I've never done that before. And that is part of the, um, the, um, what you call it, the parenthood activity, the parenthood thing. So we'll get the volunteer at a bake sale. Try your hand at volunteering at a bake sale. Don't forget to bring the cookies. Oh, we got to bring cookies. Okay. Volunteer at beach cleanup. But what, 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 but what beach? We ain't got no beach in the game. Anyway, volunteer at a nursing home, volunteer at a soup kitchen or walk to fight disease. I kind of want to make him volunteer at a nursing home or at a soup kitchen just to prove, you know what? Soup kitchen will probably be better. Let's do soup kitchen. So it says the hungry masses are lined up and ready to eat. Lend a hand and grab a ladle and help dish it, dish it out. Sorry. Ugh, can't read today. Um, so we'll do that and we'll take him and we'll go do the, um, the volunteer thing. So she's going to take him out. I feel like that'll be a way that he can know that it's, that he's privileged and he needs to, um, take the opportunity to uh see that and actually um you know it, it appreciate what he has at home so i think i'm gonna have because that's what i was trying to do earlier before janae and everybody just before everything just went totally south it's, oh thank you janae darling okay um so she's cleaning up right now i'm gonna let her finish cleaning up because that's what she wants to do and in the meanwhile i think okay he's okay he's gone all right so braylon and they're going out to go volunteer right now so they can get out the house for a little bit so i wanted to actually which i think would be a good idea at this point braylon is on daddy duty so i'm gonna have him come over here and um i know it's going to be kind of like weird and secretive but i'm gonna have him go here and he's just going to kind of get out of the way of the kids ear shots a little bit um in the meanwhile i'm gonna let her go uh not relive memories i wanted you to actually write in journal um do some extra credit work and i was going to let her go jog um just to get her um i guess we'll have her daydream i don't see an option to jog unless i'm 
Yeah, I can see practice singing. Okay, so Braylon, okay, what are you doing, Braylon? Go over there so we can have this phone conversation. He's going to actually invite, um, I think we're going to call, um, oh, that's, what's her face? She done aged up, y'all. That's Ginger. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go right here, and what we're going to do before um, the baby starts screaming and hollering, we're going to actually reach out to Dante. Let's um, I'm going to invite him to hang out at the current lot and just say, Hey, I want to talk with you a little bit about some things. And then in the meanwhile, we're going to come over here and come change the baby's dirty diapers and, um, bottle feed them really quickly. And I think they'll be fine if I just do those two things. But anyway, so he's just touching base with Dante real quick. And he's like, Dante. Okay. So Dante's like, yeah, I'll come over for it in a little bit. So being that, um, she is out, I don't know how long she'll be out for, but we're going to try to get the conversation done before it gets too crazy. And Janae is working on that right now. Uh, let's see real quick what Skyla needs to do in order to have, oh goodness, empathy. She needs to play with a doctor playset. Okay, conflict resolution. Um, I can teach her how to say she's sorry. Okay, and emotional control. So I can't really interact with her right now. I know that sounds horrible. So she's going to go play with her sister's doctor set real quick. Uh, I'm going to toggle up to do it a handful of times. And then Tara needs to work on manners. So she could set the table or do stuff like that. So I'm actually going to have her go put these away. Go put those away. Um, and then put that away and then set the table with a fancy setting. Let's do dots, I guess. Is this dot? No, that's something else. Okay. So she'll do that and work on that. And, um, but I'd much rather to have me toggle her up to suggest she does that. Cause I don't feel, I feel like it's kind of cheating to be like, look, I'm going to tell you what to do. You know, like I'm making them do what they want to do. But anyway, I'm going to brighten his day a little bit. We're going to kind of come sit over here and chat as soon as I get out here to him and just kind of make like some small talk and just see where his head's at. Um, if you guys, Oh, he came in anyway. <laughs> Can you go sit down or no? I hate that he still has this shirt on. I feel like I need to go and create a sim and change his outfit. Cause I don't like the fact that he, I guess we could sit out here. Maybe we could sit here and talk. Um, okay. He's coming. He's coming out here. Yeah. We'll sit out here and talk so that way we could be out the kids ear shot. Um, the soup kitchen chef asks Braylon Jr. To taste test the soup. It's incredibly, incredibly salty and just plain gross. Should Braylon Jr. Tell the truth and risk offending the chef or lie and risk offending the patrons. Oh my gosh. So this is interesting. Cause you know, Braylon Jr. Is going through something right now. He's kind of being ugly. He's kind of being mean. Um, so I feel like he would tell the truth just to hurt the soup kitchens, the soup kitchen chef's feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what he'll do. Not thinking about, oh, I want to give the people better soup. I think he would do it just because the chef came and asked him and he wants to be mean to him. So let's tell the truth. And then Braylon Jr. was able to balance, give it an honest response. With, oh, never mind. I want him to hurt his feelings <laughs> without hurting the chef's feelings. The chef's compliments Braylon Jr. on catching the mistake and makes him an honorary sous chef for the day. Okay, well, at least he's getting something positive out of it. But anyway, let's come over here and... Um, Oh, goodness. I brag about possessions. Let's brighten his day a little bit. Let's ask him a question to see how everything's going. Can we sit here and chat? Okay, sit and chat here. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. So we're going to sit out here and chat for a little bit and hope that we could just kind of like pick his brain and see what's going on with him. I don't want to like argue with him. I just, I just want to basically have like a decent conversation with him, you know, as a stepfather slash father figure in his life, because his dad is deceased and moved on kind of be like, I just want to give you some advice regarding, you know, your situation. And Braylon is definitely the type that's like, Hey, live your life, live your dream, love you, love what you're doing. You know, he's definitely that type of person. So I don't think he would ever tell Dante to, uh, oh, Oh, oh no, Tara's going through a phase. She's feeling a bit clingy and she's going to stay extra close to her caregiver today. Tara! Oh. Okay, I got to go in here and change these babies' diapers. Um, I thought we did that before. But anyway, we got to have this conversation. So I think, I think, and this is going to be crazy, and I know y'all are going to be like, what in the world? But I think Braylon Jr., as a matter of fact, I know the type of advice he would give Dante is like, hey, you know, I understand you're, you're, you're in a separate relationship outside of your marriage. And I really feel like you should be honest with Jacqueline and tell her the truth. Because if you're not happy, she either deserves, she needs to know. She deserves to know that you're not happy. So her heart won't get broke. And he walks away with that. I don't think he agrees with it, but oh, he's going to go check on the babies. I can go check on the babies. Just come over here. I'm going to do this real quick. All right, so I'm gonna have him come in here and just take care of the babies and stuff real quick. Um, that might have been what Dante was doing. I was thinking he was walking away because he didn't like what was going on. But anyway, um, I'm gonna just sit there and finish talking with him a little bit. Um, 
Let's Shoot see job. here. I don't want to talk about, I don't want to do anything. Oh, we got 84 simoleons for, let's see, what did we get 84 simoleons for? Um, just one, oh, just for cooking in your garden? Oh, I thought we had two books out, so we don't get royalties on the other book anymore? All right, so it looks like, is he doing it? Is he getting it for me? Okay, <laughs> well, thank you, Bray Dante. I'm about to say Braylon. But anyway, let's go discuss some interest a bit. Let's just make some small talk and stuff with him. We can sit in here. Oh, my goodness, what's wrong, Tara? Oh, my gosh. Let me hug her first and check on her because um, apparently, I know she's feeling clingy and mom is gone. And so I don't know if that's the reason why she's not feeling happy right now. Okay, so, uh-oh, mom's back home. Shoot. All right, so we can't have any more conversations with Dante about this situation. So hopefully Dante will just take what Braylon said to heart. But I think Braylon, I know Braylon would definitely be like, you know, look, this is the situation. And I feel like you should be honest. And um, okay, well, you, you got you got an attitude adjustment, mister. <laughs> is he off punishment now? Okay, good. He's, oh, yay. He got a happy boost from, happy to help from volunteering. Volunteering was fun and made Braylon Jr. feel all warm inside. Good times. Good. Okay, cool. So he needs some responsibility. I wish that there was a way we can, taking out the trash, brushing teeth, cleaning up toys. Okay, I think, um, I think since it's, it's very difficult right now, we got a lot of stuff going on and I'm trying to check on Tara. I'm trying to talk with Dante and see how he's doing, but I think Ashley will probably come in and be excited to see Dante and kind of want to just chat with him a bit. She hasn't seen him in a little bit. Um, so I'll just have her come over here and just kind of give him a hug and say, Hey, what are you doing over here? Um, of course he's not going to tell her, I'm just going to brighten his day. He's not going to tell her the reason why, um, you know, they came, he came over to talk with Braylon, but you know, he could just say, I was coming over to check on you guys. I'm just going to ask him about his day and, and all that good stuff. In the meanwhile, though, Braylon is checking on Tara. So I want him to kind of come out here and give a little conversation talking to Braylon Jr. I think we need to definitely teach him a, a valuable lesson and um, give a talking to. Let's do that. Let's give a talking to teach a valuable lesson. And of course, you know, when you do that, guys, if you're a mom or a dad, or <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, you're going to actually go in and say, I love you. Just know that I love you, but I just want you to do better. Like, I feel like you, you have so much potential and I want you to be a good little brother to your sisters. And I want you to be a good little boy and listen to your mom and all this, this, this weird attitude you've been giving everybody, I think needs to stop and etc. So I think he's going to go into him and give him this little talking to real quick and just kind of just let him know that he loves him and he's so proud of him i'm also going to encourage can i can i encourage recent behavior of volunteering i'm so proud you with your mom to volunteer and you had fun and it seems like you came in here in a good and oh my gosh she is like belting out over here She's over here just belted out right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, wait, is Skyla still? Okay, she's over here playing. Okay, so did she get anything? Oh my gosh, we need to work on these kids, y'all. I swear. Okay, so Tara is, is she feeling clingy right now. So I think I'm going to have her go out here. I don't know if she's feeling clingy to what, it just said her favorite parent, but it didn't say which parent was her favorite, which I'm assuming is Braylon because all of them love Braylon. But I'm going to have her go play doctor for a little bit while Braylon finishes talking Maybe. to Braylon Jr. Just but I think he's just going to be kind of giving him like a, hey, you know, I love you. I care about you. I want you to do better. Um, why are we going to go all the way out here just to do this? <laughs> we got to go all the way. Oh, we got to go out all the way out here just to discipline him and encourage him for volunteering. Um, and then I'm definitely going to give him some chores to do. Oh, you know, God. you're off punishment right now. I'm so proud of you. But I think you need to. Oh, that's cute. I got to get a picture, y'all. You know, I got to get a picture. You know, I got to get a picture. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. I love it. Oh, he's like all excited. He's like, thanks, dad. Um, yeah, I don't know what was going on with Braylon. He clearly was going through some type of something or another, but, um, I'm gonna teach him to say sorry real quick. And then I'm also going to, um, influence him to, um, let me see, or can I force him to, I, I'm, maybe I'll tell him that he, no, I don't want to be mean with it. I think I'm going to influence it too. I'm just going to say, hey, why don't you go inside, help your mom by, you know, uh, taking out the trash. Go take out the trash. Yeah, he'll go take out the trash. That'll be like a chore that he'll do today um, for everything. And so, yeah, he's like just congratulating him and everything. He loves it. He's like, yeah. All right. So conflict resolution. Perfect. Oh, awesome. Yay. Okay, cool. So yeah, whatever he was going through, hopefully it was a little phase and it's over and things are fine. He looks bored right now, but... It is what it is. Braylon, you're winning today, sir. You're winning. Um, 
I don't know what that was. But anyway, when does Braylon go to work, you In four hours. Okay, good. So I need to make sure he gets his needs and stuff taken care of while he's over here being um, super dad. Oh, my gosh. He is over here being super doggone dad. Cause, um, but they're having their conversation. I'm going to let them go on and finish that up. And then I'm going to have him come in here um, and take a quick shower. And let's see. I think she's out here. Oh, she's out here talking to... Skyla right now. So did Dante leave? Oh, Dante's right here. Why didn't we finish nah, talking with Dante? Um, all right. So maybe I could sit there and you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm a, I'm going to um just talk with him a little bit and just say, you know, son, I haven't seen you, haven't had you guys over for dinner. Why don't you kind of stay for dinner? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask him if they want to stay for dinner and also just say, Hey, do you want to um yeah, let's do that. I'm going to ask. I'm going to express admiration. I'm like, I want to see you guys. Why don't you stay over for dinner? I'll cook us up something. And I think Dante will be like, sure, let me call Jacqueline and let her know um, that you guys are cooking dinner. And that's perfect because it's, well, we'll, we'll say dinner even though it's 12 o'clock. And I'm going to put this up. And so she's going to actually go on and call because I can't control him, of course. Um, we're going to actually call and invite. Let's do this real quick. Pause. Um, all right. So, I, no, I wanted you to hang out with us for a bit. All right, we're going to act like he stayed. I, I don't know why he said he was about to go. Um, so let's invite him. Uh, okay, we can't we can't invite him now. Uh, but let's do, well, darn it. Okay, Jacqueline, and why don't we have a good relationship? Invite her to hang out at the current lot. Look at all these people that have died. Oh, my gosh, Claire, Dominic, Adeline, Mitchell. Oh, my gosh, the bar. It's crazy. Okay, um, and then where's our little grandson? Did he age up on me and I don't I don't see him? Dante, here we go. And then let's invite him to hang out at the current lot. And then once Dante gets away from the lot, I'll re-invite him back really? to the lot. And um Okay, he's still here apparently. He's still here apparently. Jacqueline Douglas will be right over. All right, cool. And then okay, invite to hang out at the current lot. All right, cool. And then I will go on and oh, we could cook an experiment. Wait, do we want to experiment today though? I don't know that we want to experiment today. It's not coming up anyway. Why is she always wanting to play with this dog on dollhouse? All right. So let's um, serve lunch. Uh, no more choices. Serve. Okay. So let's, let's just cook. Let's just cook. Dante Douglas will be right over. I'm actually, we're going to do it. We're going to do a big shindig because she's excited. She just saw her son. She hasn't seen him in quite some time. So let's do some, let's do a roast chicken. Yeah. Let's do a roast chicken. And then let's also come back and make like an apple pie or something. I know it's Sunday. It's Sunday. You know how people like to get together on Sunday and have like big family dinners. We're going to do it. Let's, let's do it. Okay. So let's get, um, a fruit cobbler or an apple. Let's do an apple pie. We'll do an apple pie. So she'll do both of those. And, um, of course, you know, <laughs> poor Braylon's like, you would want to do all this and I got to go to work in a couple hours, but you know, I'm gonna let him just do what he needs to do. I'm actually going to toggle him up to um, use the bathroom and also have some fun. He's probably just going to want to stay far away as he can because he knows he just gave that advice to Dante. Like, hey, be honest with Jacqueline. If you don't want to be with her anymore, just don't, you know, don't string her along. And that's like, oh, wait, Audrina's here too. Hi, Audrina. I'm going to send Audrina away though, y'all. I'm going to, oh, I don't have MC command. Darn it. Okay. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. All right. Um. I hate that because Audrina technically is not supposed to be here, but you know what? We'll just go on and invite her in. Um, we'll just have everybody come in and we'll just invite in and call over, I guess, so they can just get inside the house. So anyway, um, I think Braylon Jr. is going to come over here and come get Dante and talk about toys. I wish they had like balls and stuff that they could play with. Like maybe they could play catch or whatever, um, but there's not a way to do that. So uh, maybe they could play this together. What can they play together? Oh, look, they're out here talking and playing. Okay, I think I'm going to have them play dolls together, maybe. I wish that there was more interactions with the kids. Like, I wish they could throw a ball or do something like that. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like it needs to be a little bit more realistic, and it really isn't in this situ in that situation. Like, you can only, only a handful of things you can play with each other. But um, Jacqueline, okay, she looked like she was frustrated when I first came over here, but they're just sitting here chatting and everything. So I will just invite Audrina over. We'll just make it seem like she came over for dinner um, to visit with everybody. Uh, I think I'm off my schedule. Like, I think I, I was thinking that they would be along the same lines, but um, I'll just say hi to her and see, ask her how school is going and everything like that. Get to know why in the world did the flirt option come up? This is your stepdaughter. What in the world? Anyway, um, I know that they weren't going to really flirt, but I'm just saying like, that's just kind of weird. But anyway, I'll have him clean this stuff up and then uh, we'll put, no, Ashley, are you serious, girl? Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh. Um, okay, just stop, Ashley. Just stop. Okay, and let's call everybody to a meal. We're going to call it. Oh, y'all, Jacqueline has no clue. She just came over here and gave Dante a kiss. I'm going to come over here real quick. I know Braylon will be the type that'll just kind of like, like, you know, hey, like, remember what we talked about? I'm going to friendly just come over here and just ask him the question like, hey, do you remember what we talked about? Do you recall what we talked about? But anyways, everybody's going to sit and just grab something to eat and enjoy each other's company. Jacqueline clearly doesn't know what's going on. And Dante's just playing the role. He's definitely playing the role. But I think Braylon is going to kind of nudge him a bit and say, hey, either be honest or move it along or you need to break up with the girl. Like, you can't you can't do both and i think jacqueline she deserves to know the truth she deserves to have the all honesty about it oh <laughs> hi dante what is so bad self <laughs> let me say hi to him real quick um can i say hi to him uh enthuse about meal and and i want to ask him how his school oh let me see let me ask him how school is going and everything um let me see i could uh how can we oh, i want to ask him how school is going why well, i'm only getting these options okay i guess we could share a secret i don't know i'm trying to like that's weird why can't i get more options okay there we go more options discuss interests we'll just do that um we don't need to share a secret so she's just like how's school going how's i haven't seen you forever and this is like i mean oh here we go ask you all right cool oh even braylon is touching base with her everybody's just talking or whatever but braylon is sitting right across from dante and he's like dude uh look look how he's staring at him he's like i understand what you're saying like don't keep bringing it up like ex nay on the next nay <laughs> What would he be like? So X nay on the conversation day. But anyway, I think he's about to go to work. So, oh, Braylon, you clean up good, son. You clean up good. Oh, I can't even do it. I like it. His new little work outfit is very snazzy. But anyway, he's off to work. And, um, you know, he just basically gave Braylon that little, I mean, Dante that little nugget. And Dante has to decide from there what he's going to do. And she's, of course, she's talking about, you know, marriage is good. And, you know, it has its ups and downs, but we're making it work. You know, she's laughing about it. You know, it's, we're still in the honeymoon phase. Like, girl, you have no clue. You have no clue about that honeymoon phase. It's not as honeymoonish as you would think it would be. But anyway, I just looked at the time and I know I recorded earlier. and I got to smush that episode with this episode because it, cl it clashed on me, crashed on me. So I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. Thank you. I love her doing that. So definitely going to, um, oh, I guess I got to wait. But anyway, um, I wanted to make a cake though. I want to, I really wanted to make an apple pie. So let me try to go do that real quick and then we'll end this episode because I really wanted her to do that. And then I'm disappointed a little bit that, um, you know, what would have, would have been really nice though. Y'all now that I think about it, let's just do the, well, this is apple pie. If we would have went out here and picked apples off the tree and then just made an apple pie with that. But I don't think we have anything to, um, I mean, we do need to go out here and water everything, but I don't think we have anything to uh, pick yet. We got strawberries we could pick, but I'm probably not going to pick them just quite yet. And then we have a couple things that we can evolve, so we're going to probably take care of that too. And, um, you know, but it is what it is. But hopefully, I'm hoping, and I guess next time we'll know for sure if Braylon gets his promotion. Because I'm really hoping that he will. Let's work hard. Oh, well, hopefully, I, maybe I can do it before we end this episode. But I wanted her to go up here and make a cake. Girl, can you go get up and make, she's so busy talking to the kids. Go get up and make a pie so you can finish um, entertaining. I don't know if Dante left or what the situation is. Did he leave? I don't even see him anymore. I'm sorry. I'm like way up here because I'm looking for him. Did he leave? I think he left, y'all. I think he did. I don't see him. Okay, so Jacqueline and Dante Jr. are still here, but I don't see Dante Sr., um, which is really weird. He like, okay, y'all, he is gone. Wow, I don't see him. He is gone. I guess when I when she calls to meal after, I'm just going to call to meal after we um, finish cooking. And hopefully uh, we could catch him if he's still here. But that'd be weird if he was like, okay, wife's away at my mom's house. So let me go hook up with my, you know, side piece, concubine, whatever you want to call her. Um, let me see. Can we socialize with coworkers? I'm trying to get him to the check marks. And then, okay, I should really get going. Thanks for hanging out. Not hanging out with me, Celia. Okay, so she's leaving. But Dante, maybe you're welcome to stay. Oh, there's Dante. Okay. Wow. So Jacqueline leaves and Dante comes back in. So what is Jacqueline leaving for? Oh my gosh. Okay. Eating dirt is really unhealthy if you do. Okay. Just eating dirt is really unhealthy. Let's just do that. All right. Um, and then is Dante leaving? Okay. He's leaving too. So Dante Sr. is going to, I mean, Dante Sr. is going to stay. So that's nice. He's going to wait for his mom to uh, finish making that pie. He's probably like, mama, I'm not leaving until you're done with that pie. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she's over here kneading up stuff and everything. I really want Braylon to get. Uh, if we do this, it'll increase cooking still, but lowers. Okay, so let's do a little bit of normal. I'm trying to get to that check mark, Bark, and then that way you guys will know at least going forward that he got the promotion. Okay, there we go. Boom. So he did get the promotion. We will just continue on the path of being a um, a what you call it. Uh, and he'll just move light whenever we get the opportunity to, which will really be fun. Oh, okay, Dante. I'll see you later, son. Oh, okay. Well, we made the apple pie. It's done. So if the kids want to come grab a slice, um, I might just go on and call everybody to a meal just so everybody can come and get a piece called to meal. And then I'm going to go on and wrap this episode up. Hopefully you got, I'm not going to call you though, girl, because you need to go take a shower. Um, she's going to take a shower and then come, come in here and deal with these kids. Um, yeah, because this one is crying. Oh, let's. Actually, can I just say, can I just, I'll find out what's wrong. Let's just do find out what's wrong. And um, that one's okay. And then she can come out here and come do some watering of the plants and stuff like that. Because I completely forgot about this garden. I kind of forgot about it. I did. I kind of forgot about it. Um, so let's just, hopefully that'll do the watering and we'll be fine. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. Let me know what you think about Dante and Braylon's conversation. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And I guess at some point we got to hop into Braylon's, I mean, sorry, Dante's household. Okay. Bye, Audrina. She got to get back to school. Um. Hopefully we'll be able to hop back into, well, not hopefully, we will hop back into Dante Sr.'s game file and kind of check on him and see how everything Ooh, is going and just wow. and just see what's up, you know? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.